Hey y'all and welcome back to My Little Corner of the Internet. For today's video I filmed a what I eat in a day with recipes so you can find those full recipes down in the description and I show you in the video a little bit of how I made the things that I made today. Before we jump into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and drop a like on this video. It helps so, so, so much. And with that, let's get into what I ate today as a vegan chef. So for breakfast, I made a smoothie bowl. I make smoothies almost every day, but today I wanted to make it a little fancy, so I made a smoothie bowl. In the smoothie bowl, there is frozen banana, frozen mangoes, frozen strawberries, and frozen blueberries. I did forget to put dates in it, but that is okay. You'll see why in just a minute. I also added some hemp seeds and just a little bit of oat milk. I'm not adding any more liquid to this because I want it to be really thick. When I make smoothie bowls, I like it to be really thick, like ice cream. And my blender has a setting for frozen dessert, so I'm just blending it on that setting. Look how thick she is. And pro tip, put your smoothie bowl in the freezer while you clean up the blender and prepare the toppings so that it doesn't melt and it stays thick as ice cream. I had some fresh strawberries, so I just cut some of those up for on top. Tried to arrange it kind of pretty, even though the slices were not that even. And then I put my favorite nut granola on it. It's grain free from Jake and Juby's. We get it at the farmer's market. They were not at the farmer's market for a long time. They recently came back and I'm so excited because I missed having their granola and their granola butter. So earlier I said I didn't add any dates to this and that's fine because their granola is sweetened with dates. So it's got chopped up dates as well as their granola butter. It's the same thing as their granola, just blended up into a butter. So it's got dates in it for sweetness. So that's my smoothie bowl. And it's still super thick. Some people do this like mix up and you can see that it's like kind of melting and thin. Mine is not, mine is super thick. Thick with two C's, that's how I like it. For lunch, I made banh mi collard green wraps. Steamed my collard greens for wrapping. For the protein for the banh mi, I did tofu. Dipped it in a marinade before I sauteed it up in a pan with a little bit of peanut oil. and it cooked it until it was golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
So to assemble a wrap, first we put a little sriracha mayo. And then we put some fresh cilantro. Some sliced avocado. Some banh mi pickles, which is just carrots and daikon pickles. And then we put our tofu strips. And then we put some lime juice. I really should have double wrapped this because it did kind of start to fall apart while I was eating it a little bit. I'll have to remember that for next time. But it still turned out all right. So when you're making this at home, use two color green leaves to wrap it. It turns out a lot easier to eat. And that's my little Bon Me color green wrap. And I made a lemongrass dip. Again, you can find the recipe for all this down in the description. It was so, so good. I actually ended up eating two of them. The second one I didn't have any tofu in though, just all of the other ingredients and it was still delicious. For dinner, I made king oyster mushroom scallops, so vegan scallops. First, we chopped the stems of the king oyster mushrooms into one inch pieces and then chopped up the tops of the mushrooms to go in the sauce. Also, this little mushroom looks like a jester hat and I had to go show my partner because it was cute. I made a veggie stock marinade for the scallops with a little bit of kelp granules for that like seafood flavor. cooked up the scallops in Miyoko's butter until they were golden brown. And then threw the rest of the liquid in there and cooked it down a little bit more just so it would absorb more flavor and get a little bit softer. I should have cooked them a little bit longer because some of the larger pieces were a bit hard but the smaller pieces were perfect. And I added a little bit more butter back to the pan so that I could cook the tops of the mushrooms before adding in the sauce that I made on Monday when I was meal prepping. And that recipe is also available down below, the vodka sauce. I browned those mushrooms I added in the sauce just to heat it up and in the back there I'm cooking the noodles they are also from the farmers market I'll have the noodles and the granola linked down below as well
The noodles were lemon pepper flavored. That's why they're yellow. Toss them around in the sauce and that was it, ready to serve. I was very careful the whole time with these metal tongs not to scrape my new pan. I will have a video about this pan coming soon. It's the always pan that keeps advertising all over YouTube. I got one, so I'll be reviewing it. But I just like the metal tongs better. That's why I use them, even though they're not great for nonstick surfaces. I'm just very careful with it. Top it with a little green onion that I did not cut very well. Those are not very pretty, but I cut them really quick. And I'm sorry I didn't have sound for this part while I was tasting, but my partner kept talking, so I had to cut the sound out. But it was so, so good. The scallops were flavorful and flaky. My partner said they didn't taste exactly like scallops, but that they were super yummy anyways. But he also loves mushrooms. I've never had scallops, so I don't know what they actually taste like, but these were super yummy. I can't wait to have these again later this week. And that is everything that I ate today. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it inspired you, and I hope that you go down and look at those recipes and make some of this at home yourself. I know it wasn't totally healthy, but it also wasn't totally unhealthy. There was a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of butter. I don't normally cook with oil, and I feel like every time I do one of these, I always have at least one recipe that has oil in it, which is weird because I don't normally cook with oil, but like it always happens to be on that like one-off day that I do use it. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And leave me a comment down below. What did you think? What was your favorite dish, your favorite recipe? And I will see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.